welcome! My name is Marcus from Exmoor Outdoor and Mink Camper Sweden. Today we're going to check out the Mink Sports Camper 2.0 and I'm going to show you how to use it safely. All Mink campers here in Sweden is equipped with both a diesel heater and also a solar panel so you never need to worry about the cold or running out of battery. We will start off by connecting the camper to the car. Because the wheels are located further back on the camper, it's quite heavy at the front. So make sure to place the hook of the car close to the tongue of the mink. Then lower the camper and secure the support wheel in its most upright position, like so. When the camper is on the car, we need to connect the emergency brake, like this, and the electricity. Also make sure the brake is disconnected. Now when the electricity is hooked up to the car, we need to double check that everything works. So we need to check the brake lights and the indicators. At the front of the camper, you will find a 12 liter diesel fuel tank for the heater and a ball hitch where you can attach a bicycle rack. In the chassis, you will find an outlet for a DFA cable. Once connected, this will help you charge the battery and give you the opportunity to use the 230 volt power outlets in the camper and also in the kitchen. So that's how you attach the camper to the car. Now let's go have a look inside. Inside the camper, you will find this beautiful panoramic ceiling that you can obscure with the help of the curtain. Here we have the control panel for the heater. Just turn the ignition and it will start. Use the knob to set the temperature that you would like. Next to the controller for the heater, you will find two USB outlets that enables you to charge your phone. You will also find the voltmeter that indicates how much battery is left in the camper. So underneath the mattress, you will find the mosquito nets on both sides of the camper. And you just attach that to the wooden frame here and you won't be bothered by the Swedish mosquitoes. So here at the back of the camper we will find an open air kitchen with plenty of storage. We have storage boxes everywhere and also on the right side here at the countertop you find some more. On the left side we have a 36 liter ice chest so you just fill this up with ice and it will keep cold for around two to three days depending on how cold it is outside and depending on how many times you open it. But here you can store your food and beverages. So here you will also find this panel with the 230 outlet, 12 volt outlet and also the light switch. So you have the light here if you're cooking at night. So now remember to take it nice and slow on the roads, but also remember to have a good time and live your life wild and free with the Mink Sports Camper 2.0.